I watch and pray in the spirit with all kinds of prayers, petitions and supplications, which I offer with thanksgiving. For you are able to do far above all that I ask or imagine, according to your power at work in me. I lift my voice to you, and for Zion's sake, I will not be silent. I cry to you night and day until you come and make her a praise in all the earth. This section of the Watchman Declaration touches on the scope of prayer. First of all, learn to pray with all kinds of prayers, lots of different kinds of prayers. Here it's mentioned prayers, petitions and supplications and thanksgiving, prayer, praise, intercession. There are so many different ways of praying and you need to get to know these ways and to know, have that sensitivity to how God is leading you to pray, which kind of prayer mode he wants you to use. And don't forget, always mix it with praise and thanksgiving. Then this part of the Watchman Declaration also talks about confidence and faith. God is able to do far above all that I ask or imagine according to his power that's at work in me. This is Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Let me read it. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that's at work within us. And so here the glory goes to God. We know that we can make bold prayers and see amazing answers to prayer, great changes in the spiritual realm, great changes manifesting also in the earthly and physical realms as we pray and seek God. He can do it. Ask him for big things. Be bold. Don't be petty in your prayers. Pray strong prayers with faith and you will be surprised, particularly as we pray together, what God will do. And then this highlights for me one of the priceless lessons in prayer and intercession that I learned many years ago. There was a, a prayer warrior whose name was Reverend Bennett, and he taught us that God does not listen to intellectual prayers, fancy prayers, prayers that come from the head, prayers that come simply from the mouth. Uh, uh, God hears the cry of the heart. And so when you are seeking to speak to God and, and to intercede, discover what the cry of the heart is. And, and very often it's the Holy Spirit that is crying from the depths of our own being. And when we cry out to God, uh, it doesn't have to be eloquent, but that crying out to God is always heard by our Heavenly Father. And then this section of the declaration goes on to say, I will not be silent. I will cry out for Zion's sake, for Jerusalem's sake. I will cry out until you make her a praise in all the earth. And this in its original context is talking about the city of Jerusalem, that place which was sacred to God, which held the temple and which was the seat of so much ancient history and God's dealings with his people. Now, in the new covenant, that promise is extended beyond one city to all cities and one nation to all nations. We will expound more fully on the relationship between Israel and the nations in future videos. But right now, I want you to know that God's end goal, God's end purpose is for his name to be glorified through his people in all the cities of the earth. And we know that that will happen. So when we pray, we are praying into the end times, the end time revelation and manifestation of the glory of God. That's what makes this Watchman ministry so special.